Hello and God bless. I know I haven't made a video. I always say I haven't made a video for quite a while. My uploads are always going to be random. But this video will probably go up with another video about the same time. Hope around the same time. Because there's another video I have recorded, but I haven't edited yet. So, yeah. But, yes, yeah, so I want to. This is more of an update. The other video is a full on discussion on that hack. This is more of an update. But I want to give you guys an update because I made a video about maybe uh, about last week. I can't believe I don't remember if it was last week or the week before. But I made a video about around the time the last the hack news came out about volume four that my S8 was actually down and broken. Well, since then I have a new S8. My S8's been replaced, and that picture you're seeing on my thing it's my girlfriend. But yeah, that's besides the point. Yeah. So, for a while there, I was using this phone, which is my piece of sh what well, isn't my phone, it's my grandmother's piece of shit old smartphone. But since then, upgraded her to an S7 Edge, which she still complains that it's kind of bad when it's not. It's actually right below this phone. I mean, this phone, yes, this phone is more powerful than that phone, but that phone is not a bad phone. It's a really good phone that's way more powerful than this piece of shit smartphone. So, upon my old S8 getting broken, rest in peace, old S8, man, we have a moment of silence for it. So, upon my old S8 getting broken and everything, this, I had to replace it with this new S8. So, so I was finally able to replace it with this new S8. Um, it took me a while. I mean, I had the money for a while. I would have been replaced sooner if a sh if a Shurion's website wasn't so shit. But yes, I I finally got my S8 replaced. So, and it made me appreciate how much how good this phone really is. Now, I'm not on here to talk about how much the S8 is and sell the S8 to. You. No, I'm not here to do that. But I'm here to tell you that this this piece of shit smartphone maybe appreciate my really good s8 i mean on this phone i could barely run twitch i could barely get on youtube and i could really only use only a few apps i mean literally literally this thing gets full after installing two apps i can install two apps and then this thing will be full on storage that's how much of a piece of shit it is so it's like really frustrating to use this phone temporarily until I got my S8 replaced. I mean, it was so fucking annoying using this piece of shit LG phone because it's like, wow, it made me really appreciate appreciate all the apps I have on this phone. I mean, I can have a hundred times more apps on my S8 than I can on that piece of shit S, not on that all piece of shit LG. I mean, literally, literally, I had this, literally, in order for me to download an app, it also made me appreciate having unlimited da data on this phone, I actually have unlimited data on that, on, on my S, on my S8 and my grandmother's S7 Edge, so it made me appreciate having unlimited data, because that phone does not have unlimited data, it actually either needs to be connected to Wi-Fi, or else you're not getting any good service, so literally, it made me appreciate having that S7, I mean having that S8, I mean literally, I'm like, I was already going through withdrawals, I, I could not watch YouTube, I could not watch anything without it buffering or lagging or something like that, I was like, oh my god, this is fucking annoying, I fucking hate having a piece of shit LG phone for temporarily, like I could not do as much, I, I could tell chat with my girlfriend on Facebook and everything, but I could barely even do that because sometimes I wouldn't even want to connect to Facebook. So I'm like, are you fucking serious? It's a piece of shit phone. So it's just like, man. Man, I couldn't wait to get my S8 back. And now that I have it back, fuck no, man, never breaking this phone again. It really cost me $200 deductible, non refundable, to replace this phone. So what happened was, you're probably wondering, how did my S8 break? Well, what happened was I had cracked the screen here. I cracked the screen on the front. Now, on top of cracking the screen on the front, it was still working when the screen was cracked in the front, so I didn't, I wasn't worried. Well, on top of cracking the screen on the front, 
I had went to the water park two weeks ago. When I went to the water park two weeks ago, I, um, sorry, didn't mean to make you see that. I went to the water park two weeks ago. When I went to the water park two weeks ago, I fucking got water on the inside of the phone through the cracks on the front of the screen. So literally, that fried my phone, made to where it would not cut on at all, and pretty much made my phone a paperweight. So pretty much, I had to go almost three weeks because I lost my first paycheck and just got it back. I had to go three weeks without a phone. Three fucking weeks without my really good S8. Oh my god, was this a long three weeks. Never again will I break this phone. In fact, I actually already bought a screen protector for it. I bought a screen protector for it and I'm buying one of these for it. One of these uh, rechargeable cases. Probably like wondering why I don't use this one because this one actually is for the S7 and the S7 uses a USB micro as you can see there the S7 uses USB micro the S8 uses USB type C so so yeah and if you've ever been to any of my streams you would know that I say a type C is a godsend it's the best USB port ever so yeah that thing uses the old USB micro so because of that, I can't use it on my S on my S8. And on top of that, the S8 wouldn't fit that because it's a lot smaller than the S7. So my regular S8, I have to get an S8 uh, rechargeable case, which I am getting Friday. And never buy anything from an actual phone store for accessories for phone accessories. Yes, you can buy your actual phone from a phone store, but never buy actual accessories for your phone from a phone store because. This is my new, my next case in point. Phone stores upcharge on all phone accessories. All, every fucking last one of them. They're just as bad as scalpers sometimes. Cause they upcharge out the ass on these, um, on these phone accessories. Like, honestly, some of their phone accessories aren't even that great. So you're better off going online, buying a phone accessory. You can get one customized. That you would that that customize personally to you what you would like. So like my screen protector, my screen protector I bought on Amazon. It fits my phone. I made sure made sure it fits my phone. It's um it's an it, it that screen protector I just bought on Amazon nine dollars nine dollars for a glass. Yes, it's an actual glass screen protector. Do you know how much that actual glass screen protector costs at fucking Sprint or any other phone store? Forty dollars. So, uh, and then I was looking at the rechargeable, rechargeable, uh, chargeable cases, the chargeable cases like I just showed you. Oh, uh, and I, and I, and I was looking at them, comparing them to Sprint and what I could buy on Amazon. Amazon had the same chargeable case for $29. Guess how much, uh, fucking Sprint has the case for? Sprint has the case for $100. That's literally way overcharging than what I could get it for on Amazon. I am sorry fucking phone companies, but you're just as bad as scalpers sometimes because you upcharge on this shit and you think you can get away with it. Cause like, oh, you gotta come to us. No one will tell you that. You go into any phone company store, they'll tell you you have to buy it through them. They'll tell you no one else has it for cheaper. They'll, they'll make it sound like they're the only, that every place you else go by, it's gonna cost that much. They don't tell you that, the reason they don't tell you this, because they don't want you going on Amazon, because money, less money going into them, so they don't want you going on Amazon and buying this stuff on Amazon and not through them, because they get, they get a part of the profit, they get, they get a major part of the profit when you buy it through them. Fuck no, I, I pay my bill, and that's the most you'll get out of me, Sprint, is paying my bill. Fuck no, am I not paying, no, paying for you, I, I, the bad thing is, I pay for that rechargeable case through Sprint, and I really wish I wouldn't have. That S7 one, I paid through it through Sprint. I actually gave Sprint $100 for that damn thing. When I could have went on Amazon and got it for less than that. I could have went on Amazon and honestly got it for like twenty, for like $29. So that's what I tell people like, dude. Whenever I've been telling people like, dude, whenever you want to buy a phone accessory, go on Amazon. 
it's way cheaper. I mean, Amazon has the greatest deals on phone accessories. I won't say Amazon has the greatest deals on everything, because there are certain things on Amazon that are upcharged, but as far as phone accessories go, Amazon has the best deals on them. Amazon has the best deals on phone accessories. So, so yes, my S8 has been replaced. I now have my S8 again. So, yeah, I'm back to having my S8. And on top of that, you're probably wondering, was this whole update video just about me replacing my S8? What does that have to do with us on YouTube, Twitch, and all that? Well, it's a lot to do with you guys, because actually how I was keeping in contact with most of my YouTube, Twitch, and all that contacts, and a lot of people I chat with on YouTube and Twitch and Discord and all that other stuff, is through this phone. So that I have this replaced, I should be able to reply to people more easily, I should be able to uh, say when I'm going to do a stream for sure now more easily, and stuff like that, because that's the reason I couldn't announce beforehand when I was doing a stream, because I didn't have this phone. So it makes it a lot more easier to manage my streams when I'm making a new video, all that, because pretty much without this phone, I can't announce when I'm doing shit. So, so yeah, see, and also one last update, one last update, which is probably gone by now because it's, it, it, it's that date as of me recording this video, but one last update is that I now should have YouTube streaming ability back if you guys are wondering why I haven't been streaming on YouTube It's because a few months ago back. I got a community guideline strike It was my first ever community guideline strike. It was because at the time I was going through a very hard Depression, I mean I've still been going through it. I've still been struggling So back then I went through a really hard depression. And I made a video saying I give up since then, things have gotten a lot better, and I'm moving forward, but I'm still in a dangerous place, and I'm still at a spot where things can get fucked up and go right back to where they were beforehand. And that's... So, see, yeah, yeah, I'm still in a dangerous... I can't say what... I can't say what these dangerous... What this dangerous spot could entail. It has a lot to do with my current job. I don't want to out my current job because I don't like to, like say, don't bite the hand that feeds you. So right now they're feeding me, so I'm not going to out them. But I'm in a dangerous spot with my current job. No, I'm not going to lose it. Trust me, I'm not going to lose it. But I'm in a dangerous spot that if I keep it, yes, it's me keeping it, that will put me in a dangerous spot towards getting back where I'm at now. Well, back where I was at a few months ago in May. I just got... Things set up to where I could get my medication again, stuff like that. So because of that, my freaking um, because of that, I can't risk staying at my current job. So I'm not gonna say anything like for sure I'm leaving yet, cause I'm not. I'm actually, I'm actually satisfied working here. I'm satisfied with all my coworkers, but at the same time, it's not a job I can actually stay at. So I'm probably going to transition, try, I'm trying to transition to a job close to the home. I'm really trying to. So yeah, that's another reason why the contest never happened is because I'm in a transition right now to where I can get stable. So things behind the scene are happening to help me make sure I'm stable. I'm all of that and that's the reason why a lot of people saw on my personal Facebook that I kind of been ranting lately the reason I've been ranting is because I I just don't have my medication when I don't have my medication I tend to rant a lot I tend to say things I shouldn't like a few days ago on Twitch I was talking about my beliefs and I'm not saying I shouldn't share my beliefs no I should be able to share my beliefs I'm okay. I don't believe I'm, I don't believe it should be wrong for me to share my beliefs I don't believe it should be wrong me to talk about my beliefs I don't care what anyone says oh you shouldn't talk about your beliefs online especially if you're a Christian you shouldn't talk about your beliefs on Christianity online no, that's bullshit you should be a 100% able to talk about your beliefs especially as a Christian online even if you want hundred percent yes I 100% agree with the Bible you sh people shouldn't blast me for agreeing with that but the problem was is that 
I focus too much on that. I focus too much on it. No, I'm not saying. No, 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 no. I'm not saying I'm gonna deny God in front of man. No, I'll sin with God before, way before I sin with man. But there's a time and place for everything, and I was mixing up the time and place. So, so, so yes, I am still a Christian. I will always be a Christian. I will always have, stand 100% by the Bible. I will always stand by my faith. I don't care what anyone says. They can be mad at me. That's just who I am. So going forward, I'm I'm only going to talk about my belief if someone asks me about it. I'm not going to just blame out, talk about it out of nowhere. Now, if you want to have a friendly conversation about my beliefs and things about you, things about my beliefs you would like to understand, then I will. But if you're coming to my Twitch channel just to bash my belief, then you're banned. So. So see it. So see yes. See see yes. See yes. See yes. My phone actually. Um, see yes, my phone is back. I I want to get the cleared out of air that yes, I have been ranting a lot, and I'm sorry. It's mostly because I haven't been medicated, and when I'm not medicated, that's no rants starting to come out, which I'm trying to get my meds back. And on top of that, I had the whole um. On top of that, the whole twitch thing that won't happen again. So yeah, so so, so yes, yeah, so I just want to say thank you guys. I don't want to let this video run any longer because I'm already limited on space on my computer. I don't know when I'll be able to upgrade my hard drive, and I can't use many of my externals because they're fried. So yes, until the next video, guys. This has been an update from Uncle Shao saying God bless, take care. And until the next video, which hopefully I will be making some more videos about other topics, mostly to do with, mostly to do with Nintendo, because I want to get back on some Nintendo related topics. Until next time, people, I'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to like this video, and please, if you're new here, subscribe to my channel, because it really helped me out a bunch. Peace out, guys.